Good morning, viewers. We've been given a really special opportunity today. The folks at PLD Space have agreed to meet with me for a few minutes. Would you be so kind as to introduce yourself to the viewers? Hello, uh, Jordan. Thank you for the interview. So my name is Pablo Gallego San Miguel, and I'm working for PLD Space since six years ago. So I'm in charge of uh, especially the integration of satellites in the Mura family. Well, once again, appreciate your time today. So, first of all, I'm looking um, at a display here, and so are the viewers um, of your various uh, rockets. You guys are, yeah, looking at something very ambitious, um, including medium and heavy lift capability. Tell us a little bit about that, please. So, this is something that we present last uh, week on Monday. It was the anniversary of the maiden launch, uh, which name is Mira One. Mira One was uh, made. Uh, to develop the capabilities of the companies for uh, for the bigger rocket. Uh, now we are developing Miura 5. Miura 5 is the one that we uh, will be using for commercialization uh, starting of next year. So end of next year we will launch uh, this Miura 5. Uh, Miura 5 with a capability of 500 um, kilos in an SSO orbit. Uh, it can reach even one ton launching from Kuro in Equatorial. And this is what um, is going to give us the commercial approach, especially for the medium and small satellite that um, we are already targeting and that we have already many contracts in, in, in view. And then what about these uh, these larger rockets I see here, the, the Mira Next? Those look uh, kind of exciting. Tell me about those, please. So this is what we present uh, last Monday. Uh, just um, as part of the anniversary, we, we every year we challenge ourselves and we call that beyond. What can we do after uh, what we are doing right now? So now is the Mira 5 and we are totally focused on that, but we are already working on what we call Mura Nest. Mura Nest is a family of launch vehicles that will be start uh, flying in end of um, in the twenties, uh, most probably the thirty, and the um, the capabilities of the launch vehicle are the one we need for the big satellite. So we can even reach in a dedicated launch with a single stick. Uh, 13 uh, tons, wow. which is something that um, Marken is asking. Uh, actually, we are already proposing this uh, to some customers. And we have different versions. We have even a, a kind of uh, heavy version, including the two boosters. And we have uh, what we can call wow. with other rocket the super heavy. So I also understand that in addition to all of this capability, human spaceflight might be on the table. Can you tell us a little bit about that? That's uh, a lot we can say now. We were holding on it since last week also, and we present what is going to be the first uh, capsule with humans in Europe. I think somebody has to do that, and we think we have the responsibility to at least try that, and and uh, it's a capsule that can hold uh, four astronauts. We have already uh, an engineering model that we present uh, last week, and this is happening. And uh, we are going to test even using the capabilities of Mira 5. We, we will do some tests, especially on the um, abort uh, possibilities. You know, you have to eject, uh, especially to protect the, um, the astronauts on the ground, on the flight, so all these tests will happen starting this year with some um, prototype drop test and uh, also with some um, tests in the coming years when uh, Mura 5 will be ready also.
Now, a couple other European companies that have spoken at least vaguely about the idea of human spaceflight, they've made their capsules launch provider agnostic, like maybe you could launch it on an Ariane 6 or something like that. Are you making yours launch provider agnostic? Or are you designing this for your heavy lift vehicles? Well, we are um, focused on our launch vehicle. Why? Because we have to test with uh, our launch vehicle. I think it's going to be customized for our launch vehicle. Of course, uh, it can fit in others uh, if they do the adaptation. But I think we have the, the control. When you have a, you know, the vertical integration, which is something we have from day one, when we test inside uh, our facilities, when we own the facilities even, is uh, more cost effective and also we believe um, in reliability give more more um, less interfaces you know with other entities and for us safety is uh, very important is the most important especially in this kind of flight and especially the reliability so so far we think we are in the good way by demonstrating Miura one it's a little step for the the, the part that we need to do but we, we follow the path. Uh, the path is be humble, but don't be lazy. We like pressure. Uh, we are ambitious, of course. Uh, we, we can do it. Great. So, um, last question. Um, a lot of folks don't even really know about PLD Space. These are very big ambitions that you have. Just tell me briefly about your company and why you think PLD Space is the European company to put humans in orbit first. So the company was created 13 years ago by Raul Verdu and Raul Torres. So they were young engineers. So they were kind of playing with little rockets at university level, but they were really, you know, dreamers. And uh, this is something I like also. And they were thinking, they, why not? Why not? And, and things um, were difficult, especially they were making jokes. So, oh, it's impossible, these guys, even they are not from the main cities of Spain or even Europe. But the perseverance from day one from these guys uh, that they did something that I think was key was to, to do hardware, to build hardware and to focus from day one on proportion. Proportion is the, for the key uh, <laughs> To, to succeed in, in this industry and the key to succeed in this industry is to have something that uh, can fly especially and we demonstrate with the maiden one and that you can do in a very good um, cost effective way so we we test um, in our test facilities we I think we are the only one owning the test facilities in Europe and the company is 13 year old we are now so we more, but during 13 years, many things were happening in a low-profile company. I mean, in terms of quantity of people and budget, but uh, with perseverance. So we believe we are the most advanced, and we believe we have the responsibility to push for the rest of Europe to do something like this. Well, I really appreciate your time today. I, I tell you, I'm really pulling for you folks. Uh, really great to see all this ambition out of Europe. And uh, yeah, it sounds like you guys might be the ones to, to do this. So thank you so much. Thank you very much. I really appreciate your channel and the way you push. Thank you very much. Bye bye, amigos.